Hey, good morning, friends. Say it every time. As we center ourselves around Jesus, this is the thing. I have to remind myself all the time that Jesus gets to be at the center, not me. And so uh, this morning, that's uh, just praying together with others, and um, the idea of the renewal of all things popped up. And so uh, in my brain, and this, this comes from Matthew 19, um, 28 through 29. Jesus is speaking and he says, Truly I tell you at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man, that's himself, sits on his glorious throne, everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. That word renewal is kind of two words being put together. It's beginning again, right? Uh, it's, it's Eden restored. It is uh, the life that God designed us for uh, that we get to experience uh, all over again. Here's a few other ways that that passage is, has been uh, interpreted and translated. Here's Eugene Peterson. <clears throat> he writes it and says, uh, Jesus replied, yes, you have followed me in the recreation of the world when the Son of Man will rule gloriously. You who have followed me will also rule, starting with the 12 tribes of Israel. Not only you, but anyone who sacrifices home, family, fields, whatever, because of me will get it back a hundred times over, not to mention the considerable bonus of eternal life. Here's another one. New Living Translation. Jesus replied, I assure you that when the world is made new and the Son of Man sits upon his glorious throne, you who have been my followers will also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or property for my sake will receive a hundred times as much in return and will inherit eternal life. The renewal of all things. Life with God now. Let's close with a prayer. Uh, it's an ancient prayer by uh, Teresa of Avila from uh, the 1500s. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for not abandoning us when we abandoned you. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for offering your hand of love in our darkest, most lonely moment. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for putting up with such stubborn souls as ours. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for loving us more than we love ourselves. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for continuing to pour out your blessings upon us, even though we respond so poorly. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for drawing out the goodness in all people, even including us. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for repaying our sin with your love. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for being constant and unchanging amidst all the changes of the world. May you be blessed forever, Lord, for your countless blessings on us and on all your creatures. Amen. Grace and peace, my friend.